Well, praise God, everybody. God bless you and thank you for joining Pastor Ronald Roth and Lady Paula Roth on Facebook Live on this tremendous day in the Lord. We're excited about being with you on today and thank you for your time. Thank you for coming in and being willing to share with us. It is a exciting time in the body of Christ in spite of the things that are going on around us Amen. in our communities, in our cities, in our states, in our country, and even in the world. We thank and praise God for who he is and what God is doing. I want to thank you for your time that you're willing to share with us on today. We have a tremendous word from the Lord for you on today, and I'm going to ask you to do me a tremendous favor. As always, I thank you in advance, but I'm going to ask you even now, if you would start hitting that like button, if you would start sharing what we're doing right now on your Facebook page, because you know a number of individuals that we don't know. So when you share, it helps to extend and to move the gospel of Jesus Christ to other homes and to other hearts. Even set up your watch parties. That way, those individuals can watch and enjoy it as well. And even share it to your timeline. That way, when others uh, see your postings, they will see this as well. It's an extension for the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I would say it is our utmost desire. Of Lady Paula Roth and myself to continue the gospel of Jesus Christ in an attempt to be a blessing to those that will hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. And the Bible even says that the common people heard him gladly. And it is our desire that this word will find a place in your heart and that it will make a difference in your life. Uh, I was in prayer and devotion regarding today because today it's a special day in the body of Christ, being a special day because it is Pentecost Sunday, and we'll talk more about that in the message on today, but I was asking and seeking the Lord's advice and direction on which way to go with the message on today, and before I go into today's message, I want to do two things. Number one, I want to make you aware of the opportunities to give and to support our efforts here, what we're attempting to do. I assure you, we long to be back among the saints mm -hmm. in a traditional mm -hmm. setting. Yes. But as you know now, it is really not wise uh, to do so. And I'm not speaking negative regarding any ministries or pastors or clerics that are continuing to meet in their buildings. If they feel led to do so, that's fine. But Sister Rolf and I, we are concerned about the safety and health of the members where we serve. Mm -hmm. And at the right time, we will convene back in the building. But until then, continue to join us on Facebook Live. And even afterwards, continue to join us on Facebook Live. So foremost, I want to give you an opportunity on how you can make your donations and pay your type to the ministry and for those who continue to do so. Number one, you can use Gillify. G-I-V-E-L-I-F-Y. That is an electronic giving app that you can download on your iPhone, your Android, your tablet. And there you can type in Greater ST Mark Church of God in Christ. Mm -hmm. And there you can give your donations and pay your tithe. Mm -hmm. You can also mail them in to Greater St. Mark Church of God in Christ. P.O. Box 19, Memphis, Tennessee. 38101. All right, that was the first thing. The next thing I want to do that I feel the unctioning of the Lord to do is to have prayer today before we go into the message. There were times I would have prayer after the message, but on today, I want to set the atmosphere and set the ambiance for the receiving of God's word. And I just want to have a brief prayer with you. And how many of you know that it's praying time yes. in this world? It is praying time with things that are going on in civil unrest, with things that are going on that we know that are not right. Yes. And this message today is not a political statement, but it is my responsibility. It is our responsibilities yes. as believers in Jesus Christ to speak out when we see unjust things being done. Amen. Amen. We don't condone uh, the looting and the rioting, but I'm referring to 
we can no longer be quiet yes. and sit idly by and continue to sing kumbaya and we shall overcome and things never change. Amen. We have to pray as if it all depends on God yes. and get off our knees and work as if it all depends on us. Amen. Now that's why I right. feel as a cleric. I'm not seeing, I'm not saying to be ungodly. I'm not saying to be unlawful, but I am saying as a citizen of this country and not only that as a human being, we have a right to protest. We have a right to speak out for unjust things. And as it is said, the only thing necessary for evil to persist is for good men to be quiet. And I, I, I take offense to those that have a platform to speak out against injustice and remain quiet. No, it's, a, it's about more than the pie in the sky, faith and religion. It's about having God in your life on this side of glory and living your life to the extent and fullness in Jesus Christ. Having said that, I would like to go into prayer and then we're going to celebrate Pentecost Sunday Amen. in the Lord. Amen. Will you join me in prayer? Now, eternal God, our heavenly father, our maker and our creator, we thank you, O Lord. We give you praise for who you are. We thank thee, O God, for being uh, God in our lives. We thank thee, O God, for life and health and strength. We thank thee, O God, for the covering that you have over our lives. O God, we give you even praise for this day, an opportunity to share your word and to go into the gospel of Jesus Christ. O God, I ask that you will look on your world, look on your creation. You're yet in control, O oh God. Yes, yes. We ask, O oh God, that you will bind evil now, O oh God, in the name yes. of Jesus Christ. Yes, your Holy God. Spirit is in your creation. Yes, and Lord. he can restrain evil, O oh God. Yes, and we ask in the name of Jesus Christ that you restrain evil, O oh God. Yes. You bind and rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Jesus. He comes to steal yes. and to kill and to destroy. Yes. But you are calm that we might have a life and that more abundant. Yes, God. And, O oh God, we yield to you. We yield to your will, O oh God, in the blessed name of Jesus Christ. You, now, O oh God, use us as believers, as instruments in your mighty hand. Use us, O oh God, to bring about a difference, to bring about a change, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh God, just move and have your way in our homes, in our churches, in our cities, in our states, in our country, in the world, O oh God. Move on our leaders, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. You yes. said the heart of the king is in God's hand. Yes, oh, God, move you, on the heart of leaders yes, to make a difference in this world. You, to treat your people, oh, God, as children of the most high God. Yes, and, oh, God, God we thank you, thank Lord. You, Use us and thank have you, your God. way, oh, God. Thank and whatever you, God. we can do to be of help, yes, oh, God, let it be a thank burning you, and an unctioning on our yes, hearts Lord, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, Lord, as this word goes forth, yes, let it go forth under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You said that the yoke shall be destroyed yes, because yes, of the anointing. Yes, yes. And we thank thee, O oh God, for thank the anointing you, of your Jesus. Holy Spirit. Thank we thank you, you for your word. Thank Jesus you. Christ, we thank you for your life. Thank you. And Heavenly Father, we thank, thank you for you. being our creator. O oh Lord, that yes. the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yes, o oh Lord, my strength and my creator. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, let's go now into the word of the Lord. Amen. And the word of the Lord again on this day of Pentecost, we are excited about sharing with you on this day of Pentecost. And if you're not familiar with Pentecost is and what it means, I want to go into the word of the Lord on today and share with you about Pentecost because it has a biblical reference and meaning to you even today. Although it was referenced and I've seen clerics and others trying to explain Pentecost and trying to translate it what it means to us today but as a believer in Jesus Christ before the end of this live Facebook live it is my sincere desire that you would have the utmost understanding of why we talk and preach about Pentecost ever since a few weeks ago I've been sharing about Pentecost and about the Holy Ghost and the gift of the Holy Ghost and how to receive a special guest and about your gifts and your talents. So we didn't just start doing this today. We've been doing it for a number of weeks. So I believe as a Pentecostal preacher, I have the knowledge and the ability to go into the scriptures and to share with you what Pentecost means. I just believe as a Pentecost preacher, as a holiness preacher, that God has anointed me and equipped me to teach his word 
and I will act on the gift that God has placed in my life on today. That is to teach his word. And if I'm guilty of anything, I'll be guilty today of giving you the word of God. Amen. All right, the book of Acts, chapter 19, beginning with verse 1 and reading and concluding with verse 6. And of course, I'm reading from the King James Version of the Bible. And it says, again, from Acts 19, verses 1 through 6. And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus, and finding certain disciples. He said unto them, Have ye received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? And he said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Unto what then were you baptized? And they said unto John's baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with other tongues and prophesied. I want to propose a question to you today, and the question comes directly from the word of the Lord. and actually comes from verse 2, then Acts chapter 19. When it says, he said unto them, have you received the Holy Ghost since ye believe? But I want to add to that today from that very thought. Have you received the gift of the Holy Ghost? Have you received the gift of the Holy Ghost? And, and if you have to question, if you have to ponder on that question, then I would submit to you that you need to find the assurance in God that you have received the gift of the Holy Ghost. If you're not certain that you have the gift of the Holy Ghost, there's a saying, if you don't have it, if you have it and don't know it, you can lose it and don't miss it. But I want you to know that God wants you to be filled with heaven's precious gift. So have you received the gift of the Holy Ghost? What does that mean to a believer in Jesus Christ, the gift of the Holy Ghost? We know what it means to be saved. We know what it means to be a Christian. Uh, now I'm not referring to someone who goes to church. Then we're just habitual because now we don't go to the church building anymore, at least some of us, but we still are the church. Uh, when Jesus said, upon this rock, I build my church, he was talking about brick and mortar, but a spiritual edifice, a building not made by hands. So we are the church. We are the royal priesthood. We are the holy nation. We are the peculiar people in God those who he had brought forth out of darkness into his marvelous light. Yeah. We are the church, the bride of Christ. Yeah. We are the church, born again believers. We are the church, the ecclesia, those who have been called out of sin. We are the church. Yes. We are his members. We are believers and disciples in Jesus Christ. And as a believer in Jesus Christ, as a disciple in Jesus Christ, as one that has been born again, you have the promise from God that you can be filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. The book of Acts gives a tremendous detailed view of the move of the Holy Ghost in the church. The author is Luke. He opens up this book. And perhaps you remember Luke. Luke is known as the great physician. Yeah. Even God can use professionals, doctors, and lawyers, and people from all walks of life for his glory to be revealed. And here during biblical times, God used a medical doctor, Luke, to write not only the gospel according to Luke, but also the book of Acts. And he starts out in the book of Acts, Acts chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. The former treaties have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began to do and teach unto the day in which he was turned up, after he that through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen to whom he also showed himself alive after his passion by many invaluable proofs, being seen of them forty days, and speaking in the things pertaining to the kingdom of God, and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which said he, ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. Jesus is saying the gift of the Holy Ghost, the baptism of the Holy Ghost 
It is a promise directly from the throne of God. It is a promise that God wants to bestow upon believers through Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, I am the light, I am the truth, I am the door. Door signifying single one. Yeah. There are not many days and doors rather to God. There's only one door, there's only one way, and that's through his son, Jesus Christ. I'm not trying to uh, come against any other religion of faith, but I'm telling you that the only way to God, the only way back to God is through his son, Jesus Christ. Yeah. If there were other ways, then Jesus died in vain. But the devil is a liar. There's only one way for us to be reconciled back to God, and that is through his son, Jesus Christ. The receiving of the Holy Ghost was so important to God that Jesus spent his last few days and hours teaching on the Holy Ghost. Jesus wanted to make sure that the church would be ready to receive heaven's precious gift. And I just believe now, as believers in Jesus Christ, those of us that are filled with the Holy Ghost, it is time for us to allow God to use us even yes. more so to his glory. Yes. When people are, are questioning, what do we do about these things in this life and in this world? It is time for us, for those who say, for God I live and for God I die. It is time for us, for those who say that we are born again believers, to stand up and be the salt and the light of the world. The Holy Ghost is God's approval upon man. In fact, the Holy Ghost is God's expression upon man to produce, yes. to produce the will of God. We are co-creators with God. I say that again. We are co-creators with God. Even when God made Adam, God allowed Adam to be involved in his creation. God had made the creation, and then when he made man, he brought man forth and asked him and told him, now you name the create, name what I created. And Adam began to name the animals and the birds and everything that God created. And even when God made uh, Adam a help me, Adam named her, this is woman, but she was taken out of my body, out of my rib, and named her Eve. So we have always been co-creators with God. But God made man in his image, just as God is Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And we are spirit, body, and soul. Yes. And I've taught you that. We are a tripartite being, body, soul, and spirit. But in the Old Testament, as I told you, he was God over us. And in the New Testament, he was God with us. And now he wants to be God in us. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, Know ye not that you are the temple of God and that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. Oh, there's a song that says he's all over me and he's keeping me alive. He's in front. He's in the back. He's on the left and right under me, over me, and he's living down inside. He's all over me, yes. and he's keeping me alive. Yes. Oh, that is the power yes. and the anointing of the Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Well, today, we celebrate Pentecost. Pentecost Sunday celebrates the fact that God gave the Holy Ghost as a gift to the church. Before Pentecost, only certain individuals had the Spirit of God. But God has blessed his people that all of us, can receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Have you received the gift of the Holy Ghost? Let's talk about Pentecost so we can understand what does all this mean about Pentecost? If I were to ask a believer what is Christmas about, they would say, well, that's the time that we celebrate the birth of Christ. We don't argue, debate the date. It's just a time collectively we celebrate the birth of Christ. If I were to ask you, well, what is Easter or Resurrection Sunday? It would say, well, that's the time we celebrate uh, the fact that Jesus died on the cross, was buried in a grave, and rose on the third day. And because he's risen, we can now be saved through God, through his son, Jesus Christ. But if I were to ask you, what is Pentecost? You would look at me, I, I don't know. You would say, well, I'm not of this denomination. I'm not of this reformation. I want you to know. Pentecost Sunday and the gift of the Holy Ghost, no denomination or no reformation has a monopoly 
on the Holy Ghost. Oh, you should have felt something right there. Yes, I am a Pentecost preacher. Yes, I am a holiness preacher. Yes, I serve in my denomination. But I will even serve notice on you, even in my denomination. We do not have a monopoly of the right only to the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, is a gift to every born-again believer. Amen. It doesn't matter whether you're a Catholic. Amen. It doesn't matter whether you're a Methodist, Episcopalian, Amen. Presbyterian. It doesn't matter whether you, whatever denomination or reformation Amen. you're part of. If you are a born-again believer, oh, hear me with your good ear. Yes. If you are a born-again believer, because the Bible says he that has the Spirit, let him hear what the Spirit has yes. to say to the church. Or he that has an ear, rather, let him hear what the Spirit has to say to the church. So hear me with your good ear. If you are a born-again believer, the Holy Ghost is for you. And God wants you to fill you with the Holy Ghost. Yes. So let's talk about this thing, Pentecost. I want to get that out the way so you don't think that Pentecost is just for those who said they're sanctified. See? And I remember growing up, they thought the sanctified church was a church that had drums and tambourine and where they would dance and shout. That's not sanctification. No. Oh, I even taught on the gift of salvation. Sanctification just means to be set apart, right. to be used of God. Yes. has nothing to do with how you worship and praise God. Right. Sanctification and holiness is a lifestyle. Yes. It's a way of life. Yes. It is not now. a denomination. It now. is not a reformation. Yes. It is not the name that's over yes. the door, but what's down in your heart. Yes. 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 Are you holy? Are now. you living holy? Are you living according to the word of God? Yes. So let's talk about this thing, Pentecostalism. So you understand it's not about, well, uh, that's for those that serve God in that particular way. See, in, in our church, we don't do that. No, the devil is alive. There's only one church that's right. that's in the right. mind of Jesus Christ. There's one Lord. There's one faith. Yes. And there's one baptism. Yes. yes, we express it based upon how we serve in our denominations. Uh -huh. But in the mind of God, in the plan of God, he's not coming back just for the church of God in Christ. Right. He's not just coming back for the Methodist church. That's He's right. not just coming back for the Baptist church uh -huh. or the Catholic church or the Presbyterian church or the Episcopalian church or the United Methodist church. Uh -huh. He's coming back for the bride of Christ. That's Amen. what God Amen. through Jesus Christ Amen. is coming back for. Amen. And when he said the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, yes. Yes. but you yes. know him, yes. you see yes. him because you know him. Yes. Oh, he's talking about the church, the born again believers. Yes. So let's deal with this thing, Pentecost. The Bible says in Luke chapter 24, verses 49 through 53. And behold, I send the promise. Oh, there it is. I send the promise of my father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until you be endued with power from on high. Oh, yes. And he led them out as far as to Bethany. And he lifted up his hands and blessed them. Yes. And he came to pass while he blessed them that he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. And they worshiped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. Yes. And were continually in the temple praising and blessing God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Man. Bible says now Jesus is preparing to send back into glory where he originated from. Yeah. He thought it not robbery to take on flesh. He thought it not robbery to leave his mighty throne in glory, yeah. to come down to be with us. The Bible says that he was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, yeah. seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, yeah. and received yeah. up in oh, glory. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, that's our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. But now he leads them out as far as Bethany. Yeah. The word Bethany means house of dates. Mm -hmm. Anytime you see the word Beth in the Bible, it means house of. Bethel means house of God. Bethlehem means house of bread. Bethel. But now Bethany, it means house of dates, D-A-T-E-S. Mm -hmm. Jesus was letting them know that you have a date with God. My God. And all, all that My date God. is to be filled My with God. heaven's My precious God. gift. Yes. And I want you to know Glory you have a God. date with God. Glory he wants God. to fill you with yes. heaven's precious gift. He yes. wants to fill you with the promise. It is yes. a promise directly from the throne room of God. My God. Come on, the Bible God. says in Acts chapter 1, verses 4 through 5, and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, yes. but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, ye have heard of me, for John truly baptized with water, yes. 
Yes, but yes. you shall be baptized yes. with the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Not many days forth or hence. God. It started in the Old Testament. Sure enough, let me quickly deal with that. Don't have time to go through all the particulars and do a dissertation on Pentecost and on what it meant in the Old Testament. But I want to quickly go through this because my time is rapidly going. But when you go into the book of Leviticus, Chapter 23, verses 15 through 16. He says, And ye should count unto you from the morrow after the Sabbath, yes. from the day that you brought the sheaf of the wave offering, seven Sabbaths shall be complete. Even unto the morrow after the seventh Sabbath shall you number 50 days, and ye shall offer a new meat offering unto the Lord. He gives us a clue what Pentecost means. It means 50th, but it's more than just a number. It's more than just a date on the calendar. And I'm going to go through these dates with you. But Pentecost was and is celebrated after the feast of the Passover and after the feast of first fruits. The Passover was when God sent the death angel into Egypt to slay the firstborn of every house that did not have the blood of a lamb painted over the doorposts. Even now, you need to have the blood of the lamb yes. painted over the doorposts of your house. Yes. Begin to anoint your house. Yes. Begin to anoint your children. Yes. Begin to anoint your home. Yes. Begin to anoint your hands. Yes. And say, yes. Lord, yes. cover yes. me with your blood. Yes, anoint us and cover us, O oh God, yes, and protect us from the death yes, angel. Because the death angel, the pale horse, is riding in the My land. God. But I want you to know that there he is one riding on the white horse. Yes. And then on his vesta oh, is yes. written the name true. Yes. And he is the truth of God. Yes. But then it goes on and lets us know that wherever the blood was not found, uh -huh. there was death in that house. My God. So that became known as the Passover. Yes. And then we have the first fruits where we celebrate an offering to God yes. for bringing the children of Israel into the promised land. Yes. So they have these feasts that they celebrate. They celebrated the Passover, uh -huh. the passing over the death angel. Then they have the feast of unleavened bread yes. because on the night of the Passover, God told them don't put leaven in the bread yes. because leaven symbolized sin. You won't have time for the bread yes. to rise. Yes. But when I said move, you got to be ready yes. to move. Yes. And I want you to know that when God tells a believer to move, you got to be ready to move. Oh, yes. If he tells you to get up and run around the room, get up and run around the room. Yes. If he yes. tells you to throw your hands up and, and say, yes. pray yes. the Lord, yes. you throw your hands up and yes. say, praise the Lord. Yes. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't yes. matter what it sounds like. Yes. When God is moving, you get ready to move. Yes. So they have the feast of unleavened bread. Then they have the feast of first fruits. And then they have this feast yes. known as Pentecost. Now let me give you some dates very quickly. And we're going to hurry on through this. My, my, so the Passover was celebrated this year on April the 9th. And remember now, we celebrated Resurrection Sunday yes. on April the 12th. Yes. But how did we get that? Well, the first Sunday after the first full moon. After the vernal equinox, which is the first day of spring, which was March 20th, and the first full moon after spring was April the 8th. So Sunday after that was April the 12th. So that's how we get Resurrection Sunday. The first Sunday after the first full moon yes. after the vernal equinox. So now we begin to count those Sabbaths. Yes. Remember what he said in the book of Leviticus chapter 23. I want you to number seven Sabbaths. I'll do the math there. Yes. Seven times seven is 49. Oh, but he God. said the morrow after that should be a new meat offering for yes. you. So if you take seven times seven is 49 plus one equals 50. Let me give you the dates. The first Sabbath was April the 18th. The second Sabbath was April the 25th. The third Sabbath was May the 2nd. The fourth Sabbath was May 9th. The 5th Sabbath was May 16th. The 6th Sabbath was May 23rd. And the 7th Sabbath was May 30th, which was yesterday. Uh -huh. And the day is May 31st. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. what a time uh -huh. in God. Uh -huh. 7 times 7 plus 1 is 50th. Now you have your 50 days. 
So now we celebrate Pentecost. Uh -huh. We celebrate the outpouring of the Holy Ghost yes. upon the church. So Jesus, being our Passover lamb, he is our first fruit offerings. Thank God for Jesus. Yes. Because the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7, Purge out therefore the old leaven. Remember now, no leaven in the bread. It symbolized sin. Purge out the old leaven that you may be a new lump. And ye are unleavened, yes. for even Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Yes. And look at what Peter says. In 1 Peter 1, 18 through 19, he said, For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things, yes. as silver and gold, from your vain conversation, yes. received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Jesus Christ, as a lamb without blemish and without spot, Peter says again, for as much as you know, you were not redeemed uh, with corruptible things. Uh -huh. I heard a song, it says, I have a song uh, that the angels cannot sing. I've been redeemed uh, by the blood yes. of the Lamb. Yes. What does redeemed means? It means to be brought back. Yes. Out of mortgage our souls in the Garden of Eden. God. But My thanks God. be My unto God. God that God has a way of doing things. Yes, sir. And I love the way that he yes. did. He redeemed us. He brought us back through his son, Jesus Christ. Well, it is not coincidental that Pentecost, it fell on a Sunday. Yes. Jesus Christ got up out of the grave on a Sunday. Uh -huh. Somebody said early. early. <laughs> it was early, early Sunday early. morning. He got up out of the grave. And when he got up, he looked back at the grave and said, Old oh, death, where is your sting? And old oh, grave, where is your victory? I'm he that, that liveth that was dead. Yes. And behold, I am alive forevermore. And i got the key to hell and death in my hand. Yes. And I've got all power. All power. i got all power, all power. in my hand. Yes. So Jesus rose on the first day of the yes. week. And the Holy Ghost fell on the first day yes. of the week. They began to celebrate what is known as the Lord's Day. Oh, we have the first day, the second day, the third yes, day, the yes. fifth, fourth day, the fifth day, the sixth my, day, my, and the my, seventh my. day. But oh, now we have Sunday, and Sunday being the Lord's day. I don't know about you, but he's Lord over my life. Oh, yes. oh he's Lord yes. in my life. Yes. Lord meaning he is my master. Yes. He is my all in oh, all. Yes. He's a friend that's sticking closer than any other brother. Yes. Well, who is this Holy Ghost? My God. He is the third person of of yes. the Godhead. We have God the Father. Oh, we yes. have God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. Yes. He is the Spirit of God. Oh, yes. He is our comforter. My, my, my. He is our paraclete. Yes. He is our guide. He is our teacher. Oh, yes. He'll bring things to your remembrance. Yes. Now the Holy Ghost, he is a gift that gave gifts my, my. and he gives gifts to the body of yes. Christ. He gave us some apostles. Yes. He gave us some prophets. Oh, yes. He gave us some evangelists. Yes. He gave us some pastors. Yes. He gave us some teachers yes. for the edifying of the My body God. of Christ, yes. for the perfecting of the ministry. Yes. So he gave us the fivefold yes, gifts. And then he gave us other gifts. Oh, yes. He gave us the gifts of miracles. Yes. He gave us the gifts of healing. Yes. He gave us the gift of administration. Yes. He gave us the gift of helps. Yes. He gave us the gifts of tongues. Yes. He gave us the gifts of interpretation of stones. Uh -huh. He gave us the discerning of spirit. Yes. The gifts go on and on and on, whatever your gift is. Yes. It came from uh, the Holy Ghost. Yes, and God Feel you on this Pentecost Sunday oh, yes. with the precious Glory gift of God. the Holy Ghost. Glory but I hear God. you saying in my spirit, you say, hey, brother preacher, the Lord has already filled me. Well, I'm so glad yes. that he filled you. Yes. But there's one baptism, oh, yes. but there's many fillings. Yes. He yes. wants yes. to fill yes. you over and over again. Over. And I'm saying, Lord, fill me again yes, because God. I want and I need the Holy Ghost. Yes, and he wants to fill you again. Yes. And you got to say, Lord, here I am oh, here before I am. a full fountain. Yes. I lift the cup of my heart. Yes. I lift yes. my mind, my body, yes, my God. soul, and my spirit. Yes, and I'm saying, Lord, fill us again. Yes, Breathe on us, Lord. Yes, Lord. Just as you did yes, the Holy Spirit. God. Breathe with us, oh God. Yes, Breathe Lord. on us. Just yes, as you Lord. did with the disciples. Yes, you breathed on them and you told them to receive the Holy yes. Ghost. And I'm saying, Lord, breathe on them now. Yes. Breathe on your children. Yes, 
Breathe on your loved ones. Yes, Breathe on your saints. Breathe yes, on the members of the body of Christ. Yes, Lord, and Lord, whatever yes, Lord, you do, Jesus. don't take your Holy Spirit away from us. Yes, don't yes, take away yes, your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We need your Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord, we need you to be our yes, God. Yes, we need you like never before yes, because you are our help. Yes, you yes, are, Lord. You are help Jesus. in the time of trouble. You, and Lord, you are present help, Thank which you, means you are right now, God. God. Yes, oh, God. come here, Daddy. People, yes, she'll tell you yes, he's a right now yes, God. Yes, God. And how many of you know yes, that we God. need God right now? Yes. He's an old time yes, God. He he's a right now God. Yes. He'll step in, and when God yes. steps in, he'll step in, and not only when he show up, but he will show out. Yes, and I'm will. saying, Lord, let us be partakers yes. of it with your Lord, Holy you, Spirit. God. Thank you, Jesus. And God will bless you. Thank you, Jesus. And God will keep you. Thank you, Jesus. As my time is winding Thank up. Thank you, Jesus. Have you received the Holy Thank Ghost you, Jesus. since you believe? Thank you, Jesus. Do you have the gift of the Holy Ghost? Thank well, you, Well, preacher, God. how do I know I have the gift of the Holy Ghost? Thank you, Jesus. Just as it is recorded in the Word of God, you will feel the unctioning of God in your life. Yes, You God. will feel the overpowering of God on you. Yes. And if you had not been filled, my prayer is right now that you will reach up and reach out. Yes, God. And say, Lord, I need heaven's precious yes, gift. Lord Jesus. I need Lord you like God. never before. Yes, Lord. And even Lord, fill Thank me you, again. Jesus. Yes, God. Just like on the day of Pentecost. When it you, says, Jesus. when the day of Pentecost Thank was fully come, Thank there you, came Jesus. a sound as a rushing mighty wind. And it filled the house. And it set upon each of them with cloven tongues of fire. And they began to speak with other tongues. As the Spirit gave them utterance. Yes. I'm not advocating all you need to do is speak in tongues, but I'm saying you need to be active in the body of yes. Christ. You need to allow God to use you in yes. the body of Christ. You need to let God be evident in you. Yes. And God will fill you with the gift of the Holy oh, Ghost. Yes. And how will you know you have it? Because he is the Spirit of God. He is the Spirit of Christ. Oh, yes. He is the eternal Spirit. He is the spirit of truth. He is the spirit of grace. Yes. He is the spirit of glory. And I'm saying, Lord, let your glory be revealed yes, and show us yes, your glory. God. He is the spirit of life. Yes, Lord. He Jesus. is the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Yes. Lord, give us your wisdom. Yes, you God. said if any light, let him ask yes, thereof. God. And oh, God, give us your wisdom. Yes, Lord. How to walk up right before you. Yes, Lord. How to be an example for you. Yes, Lord. He is the comforter. Yes, Lord. He is the promise. Yes. And Lord, we want the promise. You, it's not only for us and our children, but our children's children. Thank and as many as the Lord God shall yes, call. Lord, he is the spirit of adoption. Oh, yes. Lord, keep us in the family. Yes, he yes, is yes, the yes, spirit yes, of holiness. Yes, for he God. that is holy, let him be holy yes. still. He is the spirit of faith. Lord, give us that faith we need you, to speak Jesus. those things that be not as though they were. You, he Jesus. is the Holy Spirit. Yes, you God. said, be ye holy for I am holy. He is the Spirit. He is the Spirit of the Lord. Yes, Lord he Jesus. is the Spirit of Jehovah. You, he is the Spirit of the yes, living God. God. Yes, he is God. the Spirit of his Son. Yes, he Lord. is the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Yes. He is the Spirit of burning. And I'm saying, Lord, let your Spirit burn in us. Yes. Just like Jeremiah said, it's like fire shut up in my bones. Yes. And somebody said, some old soldier yes. needs to catch on fire yes. and yes. burn yes. with the Holy my Ghost. God, God. Some old preacher needs to catch on fire. Yes, some old saint needs to catch yes, on God. fire. Some my old God. deacon needs to catch yes, on Lord. fire. Yes, some some praise member needs to catch yes, on God. fire. Some musician needs to catch yes, on fire. Lord. I'm yes, talking Lord. about the Holy Ghost fire. Because yes. he's like fire. Yes. Shut up my in God, my bones. My yes. And oh God, send yes. your fire. Send your Holy send Spirit. Your Holy Ghost fire. Let yes, it resound. God. Let it relive. Let it be burning yes. down in us. And we cannot resist yes. to do your will. So Lord, yes. we say again, fill us, Lord, yes, with the God. precious gift of the Holy Ghost. And we thank you, Lord, for this day of Pentecost. Yes. We thank you, O God, for the gift and baptism you, of the Holy Jesus. Spirit. We thank you, O Lord, for the birth of the church. Yes, Lord. We thank you, O God, for the many gifts and diversities of gifts. Yes, Lord. There are many diversities of gifts with one yes, administration. Lord, There's one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Yes. And Lord, have your way. 
and use us to your glory. Yes, Lord. And oh God, now in the name of Jesus Christ, Jesus. fill your people, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. Fill them with Holy Ghost power. Yes, Lord. That do the most power. Yes, God. As you said, after which the Holy Ghost shall come upon oh, you. Oh, yes. You shall be witnesses unto me. Yes, Lord. In Jerusalem, in Judea, Thank you, Jesus. and Samaria, yes, and to the other most parts of the earth. Yes, God. In Jerusalem, Thank where we live. Yes. In Judea, our region. Yes. In Samaria, those who don't look like us. Yes. Those who don't identify with us. Yes. And then into the uttermost parts of the world. Yes. In all the earth. Yes, God. That your will be done in our lives. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for sharing Pentecost Sunday with us. Thank you, Jesus. If we were now in our typical setting, we'd be running and shouting and praising God. Oh, yes. The musicians would be you. going forth and we'd be praising God in Thank the dance. You, Jesus. But I want you to know. You can get your praise on right where you are. Yes, you can. You can get your shout right on. Oh, oh, oh glory to God. I almost left you. You can get your shout on right where you are. Yes. You can